I'm pleased to be here. I'm very proud to be able to present this award. The qualities that are needed to make a top producer are just too numerous to mention. But I was fortunate enough to work with the best record producer in the world, who's a homegrown Australian producer, Mike Chapman. And now for the new generation of top Australian record producers, here are the nominees. Cameron Allen, co-founder of Regular Records, shares the title of managing director with Martin Fabini. In 1980, Cameron, apart from in-house producing for Regular, produced the numbers self-titled debut album. Other outside work was the sports Stop the Baby Crying. Back in-house, metal as anything, Expresso Bongo. And together with Ivor Davies, they produced some premeditated spontaneity on Ice House. Peter Dawkins, last year's best producer, had a varied year in 1980. He began the year with CBS and produced Outline. In August, he moved out and formed Giant Records. Some of the new talent he produced was Matt Finish and Mio 245. While still with CBS, My Sex and their Space Race. Also in 1980, Sharon O'Neill, How Do You Talk to Boys. Mark Opitz began sound recording with the ABC in 1971. 1976 found him engineering for the Masters Bander and Young on the Angels, ACDC, JPY and Flash in the Pan. He produced the reels. Next came in-house producer for WEA. Cole Chisel attribute a lot of what's good on East to Mark Opitz. Okay. So let's see who's won for the 1980 Best Australian Record Producer. And the winner is Mark Opitz. Thanks very much.